tent has an adjustable center pole. A rope is 17 feet long and connects the top of the pole to a peg 8 feet from the bottom of the pole. How high should the center pole be adjusted? With problems like this, it's very helpful to draw a diagram. Let's draw our center pole here. A rope is seven feet long, 17 feet long and connects the top of the pole to a peg. All right, so here's our peg. The rope connects the top to a peg, which is seven feet. That rope is 17 feet long. And the peg is eight feet from the bottom of the pole. And we wanna see how high we should adjust this center pole here. So using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we know that the pole is standing straight up, creating a 90 degree angle. So the longest side is always the side across from the 90 degree angle, and in this case is going to be 17. We could say we're looking for the height of the pole b squared, you could call that a squared as well, but we know the other leg is eight feet. 64 plus b squared equals, let's find 17 times 17, Two hundred and eighty-nine. Now to solve for b squared, we need to isolate b squared. So we're going to use the inverse operation of adding 64 and subtract 64. b squared equals 9 minus 4 is 5, 8 minus 6 is 2, and 2. So the square root of 225 equals b, the single b, and b equals 15. So the pole needs to be 15 feet high. Thank you for watching, Educator.